Hello, my name is Marielle. Welcome back to another one of my movie reviews. Do you ever have a film that you sit down and watch whenever it's on TV? That's what's eating Gilbert Grape for me. For such a simple film, it holds monumental depth. Let's get started on our talk about What's Eating Gilbert Grape. What's Eating Gilbert Grape was released to theaters in 1993. Gilbert Grape lives with his family in a small Midwestern town. Looking after both his mentally challenged brother and morbidly obese mother, Gilbert grapples to find the meaning of life. I fell in love with What's Eating Gilbert Grape as soon as I watched it. Everything from the characters, story, and setting breathe in a simplistic tone. Nobody ever knows what's going on in other people's lives. The important message about Gilbert Grape is to value life. One of my favorite aspects of Johnny Depp's performance as Gilbert Grape is how he can say so much through minimal expressions. As a young man who is trapped inside his own head, Gilbert fights to recognize his true worth. His journey in the film is profound, slowly walking out of his mind back into reality. His interactions with the members of his family, but mostly with newcomer Becky, played by Juliette Lewis, are important to his growth to see what impact he has made. People actually believed that Leonardo DiCaprio was mentally handicapped after seeing his terrific performance as Arnie Grape. DiCaprio researched the part closely, interacting with mentally handicapped teens, copying their mannerisms, behavior, and the way they spoke. As DiCaprio quoted, I could tell that he had the time of his life working on this film. I have so much gratitude for the late Darlene Cates. As the obese mother of the grapes, Cates dug deep into her own personal life, delivering a compelling performance. I was surprised to learn that Cates had no acting background, knocking her incredible scenes out of the ballpark. I deeply recommend that you read into this woman's inspiring story. She had an extraordinary impact on the film. Kate's will forever be a role model to anybody who is struggling with insecurities. Character interaction is so important in this movie. This is a character film. What's Eating Gilbert Grape has a marvelous cast of actors, including the talents of Juliette Lewis, Mary Steenburgen, Laura Harrington, Mary-Kate Shellhart, John C. Riley, and Crispin Glover. This movie is a great exploratory of character dynamics and relationships. I loved every interaction between the members of the great family. They don't get along finding it tough to voice their concerns. Tragedy has hit this family one too many times, but they still make an effort to be a family. Aside from Gilbert and Arnie's relationship, I like how Gilbert opened up to Becky, explaining how he's feeling. Never keep a story inside you. We all have a story to tell. Lass Hallstrom's direction wove a touching story that brings tears to the eyes. The tone, cinematography, and music are beautifully constructed. I'm surprised that this movie did not get more recognition at the Oscars in the year that it was released. It's a film that all audiences can relate to. I could watch Gilbert Grape over and over for its beautiful message, characters, and its simple story. If you have not yet watched What's Eating Gilbert Grape, I suggest that you find it on Netflix. It is an excellent movie. Thanks for catching my review of What's Eating Gilbert Grape. What's a lesson from a family member or a friend that impacted you? Next time, we're traveling back to the 1950s. Be on the lookout for my review of Being the Ricardos. Like, comment, subscribe to my channel or to my Patreon. My name is Marielle, and this has been another one of my movie reviews.